The city of Bozeman recently installed its first buffer bike lane to improve bicyclist and pedestrian safety on Ferguson Avenue. NBC Montana's Michael Santiscoy tells us whether more buffer bike lanes are in Bozeman's future. If you're driving down Ferguson, you might have noticed some big changes to the road. One of them being the first buffer bike lane to be installed in Bozeman. The renovations were made as part of the city's pavement maintenance plan. A study was conducted last winter where city staff identified the street needed work done and residents sharing their concerns. Several complaints from our community members that it wasn't uh, feeling and operating uh, as safe as it could be for bicyclists and pedestrians. Now the city of Bozeman has a policy where they evaluate all of its maintenance projects for opportunities to improve streets that will enhance safety and accessibility for bicyclists and pedestrians. For city staff, installing the buffer bike lanes was the best option not only for safety, but financially. Shared use paths that are separated from the roadway, however, those cost about $2 million per mile in construction right now. The buffered bike lane is uses the existing street space we have to separate the bicyclist from those vehicles and improve safety just like the shared use paths. Since the city of Bozeman designed these improvements and completed them simultaneously with the paving project, the work was done at little additional cost to the taxpayer and will deliver significant safety improvement. It would have cost significantly more if we did it as a standalone project, but because it was part of the paving, all costs were included in the material and in, in, uh, labor for the striping and the paving work itself. Ross and city staff are thrilled to fulfill a need for the community. Other streets that could see buffer bike lanes in the future are Cottonwood, Baxter, Babcock, and Oak. I'll continue to follow this story and let you know when these streets could see work done. In Bozeman, Michael Santoscoy, NBC Montana.